Welcome to Jenna's Craft Cottage. Today we're going to do this easy, airy, scary ghost. So let's get started. These are some of the things you need for our airy, scary spook. Cheesecloth. You can get this at the grocery store. Some balloons. Some white glue, like Elmer's. A tall bottle. Masking tape. Some recycled bags that you get from the grocery store a container, and also some rubber gloves, a pair of sharp scissors, and a Sharpie and black acrylic paint. You're going to start by putting plastic bags around your bottle and securing it with the masking tape. We're doing this so that the ghost will bellow out and it won't stick to the glass bottle. Next, you're going to blow up a balloon, this is a round balloon, and attach it to your bottle. I measured the top of the balloon to the bottle to see how much I need with the cheesecloth. Right now it says it's about 18 inches, so I'm going to double that and cut the fabric to that size. So this is about 36 inches that will be cut. You'll need at least two of these, possibly three of the same size. Now you want to prepare your glue mixture. This is two parts glue to one part water. I put a half a cup of glue and a quarter of a cup of water. You can see how runny it is. It's not as thick as the normal glue. You're going to separate the cheesecloth so you've got a single layer. I'm using gloves to dip this cheesecloth into the glue mixture. I want to get it nice and soaking nice and wet but I also want to drain it out so I want to squeeze it once you have it squeezed out you're going to open it and drape it over your bottle with the balloon You can see the glue that's inside, so I'm going to drape it over and I'm going to stretch out any of these extra spots. The glue will harden when it gets dry. I'm now going to put a second layer. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the cheesecloth into the glue mixture, squeeze it out and go the opposite way of the way I did it before. Open up your cheesecloth, and now I'm going to go front to back. Stretching out all the pieces. I'm going to add a third layer doing the same thing. I'm just going to end up using all my glue on this project. So if you're making more than one ghost, you might want to double your recipe. Now that it's draped, we're going to let it sit overnight until it's thoroughly dry. The ghost has been sitting overnight for about 24 hours and it is quite stiff. Before I pop the balloon, I am going to put two eyes on it. The eyes were marked with a Sharpie pen. Now I'll just paint the eyes with acrylic paint. I'm leaving the balloon in there so I have some kind of stability while painting. Now we'll pop the balloon and take the ghost away from all the bags that in the bottle from. How this goes. 
I'm going to make a loop with a chenille stem. This is about six inches long and I'm going to put it on top of the ghost and thread it through both sides and twist it at the bottom so that I have some kind of a loop to hold my ribbon or my string when I want to hang it. This airy scary ghost should be used as an indoor decoration unless you live where it doesn't rain very much otherwise it will just melt. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.